Plains Games with Jay. Oh, okay, Kyoko. Okay. Kyoko. Okay. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? Silly. There aren't many monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then when did you find out? Just now. I finished my search and came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a, a trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? Actually, to be precise, not quite. I use Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Whoa. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up bef uh, before we get in trouble with Monokuma. We can go over to all the details after we get through the trial, okay, Makoto? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her? That's a strange way to put it. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Well, that's all. Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Yeah, that should be fine. That's yeah, fine. Being the last one left, I stepped in the elevator. Uh-oh. While your dual shock disconnected. Uh-oh. Ba battery out? Mm, it's getting there. It's getting right. there. <laughs> it's gonna happen in the middle of like Hangman's Gambit or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Then the door slid shut. This time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to this weird rectangle that can transport me downwards. This rectangle made of rectangles. In the dusky uh, darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable uh, period of time, the doors opened without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes, but it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the blinding light of despair. Oh, oh God, this gaudy ass. Ah, I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Let's get on with the show. And so the, uh, the current opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial okay i'm gonna save oh my batter doesn't die okay let's set some skills which i don't think we have anything new we already I thought you had one more or maybe not nope no mm. just we just got more sp maybe be better at making friends maybe oh be better God. at making friends all right okay Okay, you know this shit. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's Kyoko! There's no other explanation. You fucking moron. But Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost. But she has legs and stuff. Well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology, Danny Phantom. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Um, okay, so I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Her traits? One important trait Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't belong to her. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery, I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, uh, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? They probably just got burned up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us is all. Are we really spending time to just disprove? Oh my, for Yasuhiro? Okay, there's no way the corpse was Kyoko. 
But if I can't prove why, we're gonna be stuck here. For just don't let him in the room. <laughs> if I, I imagine I, I lose this, and then it's just like, maybe, it, yeah, it is a ghost. It oh, Matt Goda, you're fucking dead. Like, <laughs> you're the blackened. Okay, okay, make your argument. Tattoo in the right hand. I think that's easy, but. That Goku there is just a ghost. Impossible, moron. Okay, then prove it. Prove he's not a ghost. <gasps> that dead body wasn't... Oh, wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion? <laughs> well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Because that corpse is absolutely Kyoko. This entire discussion is idiotic. Oh, I actually am so... I know that the body's in Kyoko, but I know I can prove it. What? What am I pointing out now? Exploit... Like, yeah. Oh, it's just... It, yeah. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Wasn't wearing gloves. Uh... Hold on. Oh, God. Okay. Before we do anything, go to your truth bullets. Uh, Square or whatever, uh, or whatever the menu is. Uh, Square. Truth bullets. So look at the exploded body analysis. Okay. Oh, that's about the bot. The so body you now. gotta always make sure, look at what it says and what it tells you. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm just gonna give this to you. This is so stupid. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like uh, so tired of Yasuhiro dead. Yeah. Okay. Just think about it. You must have been wearing gloves. That's not true. Why? Uh, not the first one. And not the first orange text, I mean. Oh, okay. It's not this one, because... Yeah. They, yeah, right. They must have been wearing gloves. But just Which of your three bullets disproves that? Uh, the ta fake nails, tattoo on the right hand. Which one? How which would prove... There's no... She must have been wearing gloves? No, because she had... Nails? Yes. <laughs> okay. If you have fake nails, how can you be wearing... Yeah. You could definitely try, but <laughs> certain opera clubs can make it that work, but, uh, let's see. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> fuck. Oh, my God. Yasuhiro, why are you here? I, yeah. I uh, think that every time he talks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yes, a hero! Oh my god! <gasps> no, there's no way the corpse was wearing gloves! Also, Kyoko standing right there! <laughs> Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been pretty big, a bit of pretty big pain. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. Oh, shut up, Yasuhiro. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know women, that's... It's you. <laughs> well, Kyoko, who's alive? Any thoughts? These gloves were made custom-made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. And that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here, you fucking twat. Okay, that is, uh, who's the real victim? First we need to figure that out. Oh my Go God. sit in the corner. That's oh the first thing I said. You're the one who's dragging oh us around in circles. God. God damn idiot. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut you down, you fucking palm tree. Oh. Kyoko really is still alive. Stop talking. <laughs> Who died? That's gotta be, uh, there's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body, there's nothing else we can do, right? Uh, what am I, it's the tattoo, right? Uh, tattoo, tattoo identify the body. Uh, 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 uh. Hiya! Okay. There you go. <laughs> there is one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? 
If you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. A cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. I hope it's you. She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh yeah, the design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her bastard must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. Seriously? You really did something that humiliating? I should try it. No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Whoa, really? If you compare the tattoo of, to other information we have, the victim's identity should become clear. Uh, da 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 Uh, no, no, no. Um, where's the, where's the, where's the, the profile, right? Click it if you're not sure. Uh, ha 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 Yep. There you go, sport. The Fenrir Mel uh, Mer Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belongs to. Okay, so... Show that they're a member of the team. Each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? The image that represents Fenrir is... I'm really, I, I really like to spell dog. <laughs> wolf. Oh man, oh, wolf. <laughs> it's like, why make us do this? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> it took two seconds. The representat a representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology, a huge world-ending wolf beast. He's the ch child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally get a glimpse of the literary all-star. A wolf tattoo? Then that means... Exactly. The body we found had a wolf, a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. What? Are you saying the mastermind is dead and now we have to have a class trial? No, it means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But, I mean, being the ultimate despair uh, seems like a pretty masterminding title for, to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. <coughs> all it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Then who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time, and when, we sh when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us, just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? It must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains! What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body. Then, one of us killed Mukuro? Hey, no, there's a chance that there's some mystery. 17th person who's been hiding all along. Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. I was just really hoping that the ultimate prankster did show up after all this time. That'd be fucking crazy! <laughs> Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. 
Huh? I'm sure you realize what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after night time last night, I went to the garden, so I can confirm that at that point there was no dead body there. So the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? Have you heard of Austin Powers? No, that's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis. Are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. And I can't believe I missed out on Austin Powers. I know, right? Spy who shagged me? Classic. Exactly so. So, the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it! I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? You need some ace attorney shit? Igiati. Well, before that, I, w I just want to try and get a better uh, idea of what time the murder took place. Dur uh, doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want. Somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can com uh, both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at, uh... Well, it was after night time for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? The one we saw who saw the body first was Toko, right? When we, she went to go get the pickaxe? So what time was the body discovered? At 9 o'clock. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Oh, no, Toko, go to speed of sound, go, hurry up. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can totally be sure, uh, to be totally sure that the uh, the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met with up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh yeah, right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means, from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m., and I don't have an alibi from uh, 10 p.m. until 7 a.m. 30 a.m. Okay then, it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. Uh, sprinklers, 7.30, right? So... Oh no, the fragments in your dead body are... We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. There's something that happens in the garden at the same time every morning. Okay, I know it's with the sprinklers, but like... Thinking back, the corpse is almost totally dry. In which case, I should be able to figure out when the body must have appeared in the garden. Uh, so it's obviously the sprinklers, but I don't really know what... Take a look at the description. Oh, oh, uh, um... Square. Uh, the sprinklers start off at every 7.30. Yeah, I remember. As such, it can be assumed that if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, it would have been... It would have gotten wet. Okay. Okay. So what, what do we... What is that, um... Uh... Or would contradict. Uh, doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7:30. Nope. 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 Okay. Sprinklers. Sprinklers. 10 o'clock at night. 9 o'clock in the morning. Does not From 10 o'clock to 7:30. What? Okay. Well, think about it. Okay. When do the sprinklers turn on? 7:30. 
Okay, and right now, what are they saying? They're, they're saying, saying I have no alibi from 10 a uh, p.m. to uh, 7:30 a.m. So they're saying it has to be between 10 p.m. and 7:30. Yeah. Or, or does it, it say 7:30? Or they say, well, whatever. So, but knowing, but because of the sprinklers, we what can't be true? It took place some between 10 a.m. 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, is it that? How is the sprinkler 730 contradicting that? But I'll shoot it anyway. For what? Uh, the first thing. This, 10 o'clock at night. Because when do the sprinklers turn on? 730. So what should they actually be saying? Uh, the body should, should be wet or something or whatever by the time they found it. If, the seven, if, it, was, if it happened then. Okay, listen, okay. If the court I'm shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> it will be explained to me now. <laughs> I, before we continue, just, well, hold on. Okay. So, think. Okay. When do the sprinklers turn on? 7.30 a.m. Okay. What was the condition of the body? Fine. Dead. Not wet. Not wet. So, could it be before 7.30? Could they have found the body there before 7.30? Uh... By, those, by that logic. The sprinklers turn on at 7.30 and the yeah. body was dry. So could they have found the body before 7.30? No, could they, the body have been there before 7.30? No. That's why they're saying it can't have been near 10 o'clock. Because 10 p.m. to 7.30, if the body was there, what would the body Oh, be? we're to li so literally I'm trying to contradict that. Like, dude, t t throw 10 o'clock out the window. because 10 o'clock to 7.30. It is out the window. I that, see. That's what... Oh. Man. Anyway, let's continue. Man, whatever. The wording... Sometimes... This is like... I, I feel like I'm... We'll let the commentaries decide. Yeah, I, I, I was like, I was like, dude, yeah, the sprinklers, seven thirty. Let's just talk about that. Not, oh, forget the fucking time, whatever. Well, think about it. Makoto's whole thing right now is he needs to prove that, that he's, he, yeah. yeah. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to uh, go off right at seven thirty every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before seven thirty, then it should have been completely soaked, or it should have been completely soaked. Hold on, I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words? Uh, no. I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? By denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Man, you're totally wacko. You're one to talk if you really think it wasn't the sprinklers. You better tell us why. I need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit the Okay. Is this is this Is this uh the rhythm game time? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh what is it? Uh Remember when you bullet throw, you got to reload them. Yep. Hold on, that's enough. Are you trying to blame me? I'm like trying, to, I'm trying to get oh, right this, God damn it, so <laughs> this, Me? No, no, because I was like so in the zone and then, like the second he started talking, I was like, oh fuck, uh, 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 yeah, like. Fine, I'll sit here in silence. No, 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 you're good, you're good. I just didn't expect it so suddenly. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. I can shoot anything during this time. Boom, boom. Okay, there we go. Do I have to choose something? Uh. Yeah, the body analysis. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm doing pretty good. I'm like in the zone. And then I was like, oh, oh, God. Oh, God, I'm doing a let's play. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. The top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, it shouldn't the whole body have been wet? So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! I'm so <laughs> sick of her. Let's just move on. The reason the, o o the reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water, but only the part, uh, the, the, only the part on fire, the top half. 
Uh, then I guess I, those sprinklers really didn't do it. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I got to get water, and Jay really nailed it. <laughs> so if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have uh, taken place. Sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. But Makoto's alibi was only uh, missing from 10 o'clock uh, last night to 7.30 this morning, right? There's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess he had an alibi after all. Good for you. Yokata. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi. Which would mean that Mukuro's killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko murdered someone? That's... I just like to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of the school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the mastermind has, has laid out for us. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? Well, you're gonna skip my so lines, sorry. asshole, but you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So that was her motive? If she had a motive and no alibi, well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. Oh, what are you... Because you see, there is a way the body could avoid, uh, could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. A certain something at the scene was used to, uh, the tarp. The chicken. The chicken! You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All, you, all you'd have to do is cover the body with a tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The, uh, the side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. Why, why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cl uh, cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way uh, Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? But the body... Wait, something's not right. And what might that be? I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. If I have to refute what Kyoko said. I believe the blood was still wet or something. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, body before the explosion. Okay. Uh, by covering the body with that tarp, did Makoto really do it? Uh, the killer prevented. Oh no, the killer. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. So the reason the tarp was uh, only on the dirt, the only dirt on one side, is because the sprinkler uh, got that side wet. But the underside of that tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's cause that side uh, protect the water. Fuck you! Uh, goddamn. Since so it was facing the downturn body, uh, of course it didn't get dirty. What was... The, yeah. So what would that... I'm trying to figure out what, what's the highlighted thing to attack. Uh, so what's what's the contradiction here? Like, what, what are they... They're saying, like, it's totally the tarp, but uh, the tarp was spotless on, on the other side. And why is that Why is that weird? Uh, it's weird because the bot the blood on the body is fresh. Okay. Uh, which is body analysis... Body before the explosion... Bo body has stopped bleeding, but the blood is still wet. Okay. 
So you know you know the bullet. Yeah. So then think about okay, which which thing is incorrect then? Or uh, not incorrect, but it, it contradicts. The bo it, this can't be true because the the body was protected from. It's because the side of it's right since it was facing down towards the body. Uh, of course, it didn't get dirty. Yeah. Okay. That's weird because. Yeah, yeah. The blood. Oh god. Okay. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange, if you think about it. Maybe next time we'll explain to these jokers how blood works. Bah. Bah. 